us for Adventures of a Sailor Girl. And on the line, we have Dave Bartholomew. Dave, how are you going? Yeah, very good, thanks. Very good. Tough day sailing, getting good fun. Awesome. Yeah, it sounds like uh, your, your little boat is going quite well, not that she's so little. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been, it's been really good. And, and today especially, kind of um, three boats around 40 foot, uh, you know, kind of changing paces the whole way down the race course. And, you know, just really, really good big boat racing. It's been brilliant fun. Now, for those who have been looking at the results sheet, I actually asked you the name of the boat just before we started this interview. It's quite tricky to say. I'm going to get you to say it again for me so that I don't mess it up. <laughs> okay. I'll try, I'll try, try to say it slowly and not sound stupid, but it's called Tokolosh. Tokolosh. There we go. And yeah, she's winning the IRC Zero division, which is fantastic. There's so many boats out on the water, Dave. I'm just, I'm, I'm in awe. I know it's awesome. I mean, that's a, that's the whole thing with cars. It's always it's always just crazy. You spend um, spend half your life kind of dodging boats from other classes and just kind of weaving, weaving your way down the course. And especially today, when the when the breeze gets up, you kind of downwind, just spending your whole time trying to carve through the kind of smaller boats. Really. Excellent, excellent. Now, what's your position on the boat, Dave? What are you doing? Um, I look after the boat and um, and I do upwind trim. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And, and are you guys going to do the fast net at all? Yeah, we are. So we're doing we're doing the full cars week, well, till Friday, uh -huh. um, and and then a quick turn around, turn the boat into offshore mode, and then off on the fast net. Perfect. And did you do the fast net last year? How long have you been with this team? Um, for quite a long time, but mm. we, we haven't done the fast net before. We've always always been based, uh, always done inshore sailing only, really. You know, with, wow. with yard offshore here and there. So, um, I mean, everyone on the boat's done quite a lot of offshore sailing, but the boat itself hasn't. So, um, and this boat particularly is never really conceived as an offshore boat pretty pretty leaky pretty wet so it's gonna be interesting dry suits all the way around i think <laughs> dry suits uh indeed even in summer in inverted commas <laughs> yeah exactly great, great english summer <laughs> although today and yesterday i definitely would class as summer yeah no it's awesome it's nice it's, i think first time this year in the uk i've been able to sail with kind of shorts and a t-shirt which is quite makes a change makes it much easier <laughs> Excellent. So you're saying you're not from the UK? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm from, I'm from South Africa. Isn't it? So. I, I, I kind of fix that, definitely. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so as a South African, what are you doing over here? Just Do, do you do one hemisphere than the other? What are you doing? Well, that, that'd, be the, uh, that'd be the ideal option. I kind of I, I, I kind of moved over about 10 years ago just, you know, for, because it was good hard to be based for doing lots of sailing and all that kind of thing. But, yeah, uh, yeah my wife's from here too, so we kind of oh, we try perfect. to do long holidays. Try to do long holidays in South Africa, but generally, <laughs> yeah, the UK's home, so. Excellent. Yeah. Well, it's, it's good that you can go home and, and be with the family each night. I'm guessing you're based in, in Hamble as well? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, we, we're based in Hamble, and the and nice thing is that about 90% of our crew is Hamble-based, so we, we keep in a boat over in Hamble the whole time, come back here, you can have a few kind of quiet drinks off the stadium. It's quite pleasant. Yeah, that makes sense. I think maybe it was a little bit of a challenge from the, the radio station here because this is the first day that I'm doing official work for Cal Radio. They said to me, no, you have to go and get an interview with this boat. And I said, absolutely, no problem. So I'm, I'm, I'm like, well done, tick. <laughs> I've got me to but it's, but it's great to chat to you and well done to you and the team. You had a, had a great day today and hopefully I get to chat to you later in the week when you've um, on the regatta. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, that'd, that'd be the that'd be the icing on the top of the cake. So hopefully, it kind of gets gets there and kind of keep consistent. We'll see. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit tricky out there on the Solent. So I've discovered. Yeah, yeah, especially I mean yesterday, especially and today too. It was just, mm. you know very gusty, very shifty. So and obviously lots of tide. So it's just you know it's, it's good racing though. It's just you know really tactical, really close. So. Good Absolutely fun. awesome. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me again, Dave. That was Dave Bartholomew. No He's the, the trimmer and he looks after the leading boat in IRC Division Zero, which is... <laughs> Talk a lot. Talk a lot. <laughs> I, I feel so bad trying to say that one. If you want more adventures from me, guys, head to www.adventuresofasailorgirl.com. Find me on YouTube, Facebook. I'd love to, to be sharing all those adventures with you, but I'll be here all week. Thank you so much, Dave. Brilliant. Thank you. Over the beaches From now on